piano at all at the time. So it was a real challenge, but he would love it when we did the Wabash Cannonball. So every time we do this, I always think about Jim Bailey, uh, a, a great father in his own right. And, uh, his memory just goes on and on, so I'd like to send that out to him today. And my brother sing it. Yo, Rocky. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you want to do the Roy Acuff thing and start it off, I, I never, you know, I started off because there's nobody else around to start it off with, so. <laughs> You know, go ahead, be my guest, it'd be great. I'll just go. <laughs> the brother Oswald. <laughs> Shore. From the plains of flowing mountains to the south hills by the shore. She's mighty tall and handsome, she's known quite well by all. She's a regular combination of the Wabash Cannonball. She came down from Birmingham one cold December day. As she rolled into the station, you can hear all the people say, There's a gal from Tennessee, she's long, she is tall. She came down from Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. Listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar. As she climbs along the woodland, through the hills and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush of the engine and the lonesome hobo squall. The traveling home to Dixie on the Wabash Cannonball. Traveling through the jungle on the Wabash Cannonball. 